Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Allen from Lifehacker and I'm here with home tech expert John Quain to talk about three of the most popular items people buy when they're starting to set up their smart home. We've got some smart switches, some smart bulbs, and some cameras. So stay connected, this is Home Hackers. To get some inspiration for our lighting and camera hacks, I decided to check out the residential development at 60 White Street that's been outfitted with fully integrated systems by Cloud9 Smart. All right, Emily, tell me about these hub systems that you have here at 60 White. Is everything connected to the same system? Everything is connected to the same system. Great. Well, let's take a look. Okay. So, Emily, tell me which rooms in the unit have smart lighting. All the rooms have smart lighting. You can control it right here from this main hub. All the different rooms are listed. You can also press home when you come home and all the lights go on. Right. You press away when you're leaving, all the lights go off. Very nice. There's also an app for your phone so you can control everything from your phone and you don't have to necessarily use the hub. Awesome, so you can be walking down the hallway with your phone, turn on the lights in the next room you want to be in. Exactly. Very nice. Okay, now this here is the security camera, right, for the gate outside? That's right. As you see here is the camera oh. to the front door. They buzz, and we would buzz them in. That gives you the front door. Well, then we see them walking toward the elevator. Very nice. And then here we see them in the elevator. Once they get into the elevator, we call the elevator up. Very cool. Okay, JQ, tell me about these devices. Which one is the easiest to set up? Right, the easiest one is a smart switch. It's also the least expensive. Okay. About $15 to $35 for these things. This one's $35 from Wemo. Okay, well, let's try and set up one of these smart switches. So the very first thing you have to do with the smart switch is download the app. So you just go to the App Store. It's a free app. You can just get it downloaded to your phone. It's pretty straightforward. Then you can go and plug in the smart switch into any outlet near where you want the appliance. Now we've got that set up. This is a little different on this smart switch because you have to search for it in your Wi-Fi settings. So on your phone, go to your settings, look for Wi-Fi, Wemo device will come up and you'll see it. Tap on that and that'll connect you to that smart switch. After you've done that, you can open the app and then you get yeah, controls. Yeah, yeah. yeah, then you can turn the lamp on and off. Okay, but that's different than smart lighting. It is. Smart lighting is a whole different thing because you can change the colors, you can change the intensity of the lights, you can put it on a schedule again, you can turn it on and off remotely, all of that with a smart bulb. Typically LED bulbs, this one's from Philips, it's the Hue system, okay. and it uses a hub so you do need an extra box to work with it. And it's more money for four bulbs and the hub, that's $200. All right, JQ, let's move on to smart home lighting and talk about how we can set up just the regular Philips Hue bulb. Okay, follow these steps. First, take the bulb and screw it into the socket. Second, turn the light switch on. Third, then you can plug in the hub. You need an ethernet cable to your router, then you go to your phone and you download the app. After you have the app running, then you can do things like change the colors, play around with the colors, blue, green, orange, yellow, all sorts of things. Change the day you want it to go on and off. Create scenes, have it bright in the daytime and lower yellow at night. Lots of fun stuff. Cool. Let's talk cameras. Tell me about the Nest. Nest, one of the most popular webcams or nanny cams people put in their homes. They're everywhere. If you turn around, somebody's watching you. It's easy to set up. It really is. It's a little bit more expensive. They're about $200 for the indoor camera. Right. But it connects via Wi-Fi, so again, straightforward. You do need an outlet. It's not battery powered. You need to plug the Nest in. So you just plug it in, connect it to your home Wi-Fi network, and you can watch what's going on anywhere. Yes, and as they get more sophisticated, they get higher resolution. So this has an HD, like 1080p resolution. Okay. It's so it's a better picture. Some of them can sense objects, can tell faces. You can zoom in on the face in some of these cameras. Oh, wow. Or you can tell it was an animal or a car that went by. How do you set this guy up? The very first thing you do is pick a spot for the camera. And that usually means if you're trying to cover an entire room, you probably put it somewhere in the corner of the room, a little high up to give you a good view and good coverage. Once you've plugged all that in, then you can go and download the app to your phone. There's a Nest app, it's free. And then it'll ask you to add a device. 
In that case, usually what you have to do, part of the process, is to scan as a QR code in the back of this camera. You scan it with the camera on your phone, so when you're setting this up, stay close to the camera. Okay, great. Well, that's everything you need to know to set up smart switches, smart bulbs, and Nest cameras. Thanks for watching.